When most people teach how to play sweeps, they're telling you to use intricately timed hammer-ons and pull-offs. The problem with this is that it can muddy up your sweeps like crazy, and that's a big part of why it takes you so long to learn them. Today, I'm gonna to show you a weird, but insanely effective picking pattern that someone from Trans-Siberian Orchestra showed me, and it changed my sweeps forever. Using this picking pattern will instantly clean up your sweeps on top of giving you more flexibility for which sweeps you can play. Most common sweep picking patterns involve using two notes on the top and bottom strings. But using these common picking patterns for sweeps makes it difficult to play sweeps that have only a single note on the top or bottom. That's because you must hop the pick over the string while also executing a perfectly timed hammer-on or pull-off. It's a recipe for disaster. With the system I'm gonna show you today, we're gonna to completely eliminate that issue. And look, if you've already learned sweep picking, don't worry. This new picking pattern will take you no time at all to learn. By the way, if you like these kinds of guitar videos where we go ultra deep on exactly how to execute a particular technique, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. I'm always sharing tips that I've learned from lessons with some of the top technical guitar players out there. As usual, before we get into the picking technique, we need to establish some ground rules for this video. But don't worry, this won't take long. So first, for the purposes of this video, when I say sweep picking, I'm talking about continuous arpeggiation. I'm not talking about one directional sweeps and simply landing on a high note. Second, there are no common shapes with sweep picking. Don't think that you're gonna learn a series of exercises and then be magically prepared for every sweep that you're ever going to encounter. If you just understand that there are sweeps that have either one or two notes on either the top or the bottom and you apply this picking pattern, you're gonna be good to go. To prove my point, here's a bunch of different ways to subdivide and invert a single E minor arpeggio over a single bar of 4-4. Okay, with that out of the way, let's introduce this special picking pattern. We'll start with this simple C major five string sweep to demo. Now the way that most teachers would tell you to play this is to play the C, hammer on the E, sweep up through the G, C, and E, and the high G, and then hammer on the C, and then sweep back down through the G, E, C, G, and E, and then pull off to get the low C. The method I was taught works like this. Downstroke on the C, upstroke on the E, sweep through the G, C, and E on the middle strings, upstroke on the high G, downstroke on the high C. Now pause right there and look really closely. By using this picking position, we've pre-positioned our pick for sweeping back down the arpeggio. No hammer-ons or notes to biff, no intricate timings to deal with. So here it is, one more time. Downstroke on the C, upstroke on the E, downstroke on the G, C, E. Then we're on our top string, upstroke on the G, downstroke on the high C, and then we can play upstrokes from G down to our low E. And then we're ready to restart our sweep. So I know what you're thinking. Yes, it's more picked notes, but we're not destroying the sound of the sweep. And trust me, it's so much more clean and it won't hurt your speed. That's because we're only really adding one or two picked notes on the outside edges of our sweeping pattern. Speed drops come from fatigue, not from adding one or two notes on the outside of your sweep. So if you're playing along and you've tried this out and it's helping you, let me know in the comments below. Let's look at another example. This time we'll pick a pattern with only one note on the bottom something that traditional sweeping will struggle with big time. Now, honestly, this is one I haven't practiced a whole ton yet, so go easy on me, but I'll give you the picking pattern and you can experiment with it. So here's a D major arpeggio across five strings. So let's break it down with the improved picking pattern. So we're gonna start with a downstroke on all of it. And then right before the top string, we'll play the high F sharp with an upstroke, and then the A with a downstroke, and then we can sweep back down, upstroke, upstroke, up, upstroke through most of this, to the F sharp, and then we can reset 
to the D. So by the way, if you're having any trouble muting while playing these sweeps, go ahead and check out my video, Lead Guitar Muting Techniques. All the info in that video also applies just the same to sweeps. So I'll leave a card for you in the top right and in the description below. So to practice these, which is the most important part, I put on a timer and a metronome for one minute per sweep that I'm working on, and I just repeat it over and over. If you're getting to where you're working on faster speeds, I say go through them twice. So for me, I'm usually working through things at around 60 to 80 BPM, especially if it's a new pattern, I'll be on 60. And then I will go to 100 BPM if I'm feeling comfortable, ready, and clean on that pattern. It's really similar to weightlifting in that bad reps don't count. You don't want to train in bad habits. So make sure that you're playing these extra, extra clean with a timer, with a metronome. The timer really just gives you a mental note of when to move on. And so you don't get stuck just playing the same thing forever and ever and ever. By the way, I've got another video coming up called Sweep Picking Chord Progressions. So if you wanna see the exercises that I do to go through these and not just the picking pattern, again, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And then you'll see when that video comes out, probably next week. So to sum it all up, your goal is to reverse your pick direction, the string or the note before you're reversing the direction of the sweep. This will result in more picked notes, but it will add clarity and control to your sweeps while also setting up the pick to slice through all the other notes in the sweep. So if you like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe to let me know that it was helpful. I've got more lessons planned on all aspects of picking that I really think you'll enjoy. So with that, I'm out. Peace.